Most people view tennis as a soft country club sport. Yet one of the most talented young players is the exact opposite of this stereotype. Meet Nick Curios, the bad boy of tennis. Curio stands at an imposing six foot four. He sports a long athletic frame. He can power serve 135 miles per hour while also gliding side to side across the court, reaching each and every ball. He does not look like a tennis player, not at all. His natural gifts give him an advantage that nearly no other tennis player has ever received. The 22 year old Australian is the only active player ever to defeat Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic in their first meetings. He's beaten Nadal and Djokovic twice, in fact, and came within a few points of a second victory over Federer earlier this year. I think Nick is the most talented player since Roger jumped on the scene, Paul Anacone, a former coach of Federer and Pete Sampras, has said. At the 2014 Wimbledon Championships, the biggest tournament in tennis, Kyrgios, at the young age of 18, reached the quarterfinals, defeating Richard Gasquet and Rafael Nadal along the way. This run was special. It was unprecedented. The tennis world was buzzing, eager to crown Nick as the next dominant player in the sport. Yet four years later, Kyrgio sits as the 20th ranked player in the world. His similarly aged peers, Alexander Zverev and Dominic team have long passed him. They own the 4th and 7th ranked spots respectively. Oh, in that 2014 run to the Wimbledon quarters? Well, Kyrgios hasn't gotten past the quarterfinals in any Grand Slam event since. So what happened? Well, it's complicated. Many people, including Nick himself, have questioned his interest in the sport. In recent years, while Kyrgios has not received attention for his play, he has received attention for his antics on and off the court. His long list of incidents include numerous nasty arguments with officials, racket breaks and moments of rage directed towards his coaches, friends, and himself. More specifically, Kyrgios has had a few more pointed tennis controversies. In 2015, in a match against Grand Slam champion Stan Wawrinka, a microphone caught Kyrgios saying that his Aussie tennis mate Tanasi Kokonakis had sex with Wawrinka's girlfriend Donna Vekic. In 2016, Kyrgios was fined $25,000 and suspended for two months after tanking a match. He literally stopped trying while continuing to play the match and admitted as much after it. This drew excessive criticism and abundant media bashing, especially in his home country of Australia. Well, what is the explanation for his outburst and lack of tennis progress? Well, again, it's complicated. For one, Kyrgios does not love tennis, and he has no problem saying that. His first love was basketball. He spent endless hours watching Space Jam and playing NBA Live. Eventually, he persuaded his parents to get a TV package that enabled him to watch NBA games. He'd wake up early to watch the Celtics, and then go outside to shoot baskets, pretending that he was Paul Pierce. When he was 14, he was selected for a regional team. I love the game. I love the sound of the basketball court. I love the tennis team environment, Kyrgios said. But he stopped playing basketball because he was simply much better at tennis. There are countless six foot four athletic ballers, but for the same cannot be said about tennis players. When he first decided to commit to tennis full time, he was sad and angry. He wanted to be on the basketball court, not the tennis court. After staying up till 3 a.m., watching the Celtics take on the Cavs in a playoff game the night before, he admitted that I don't think I wanted enough. He also has openly discussed his frustrations with the blandness and repetition of the tennis life. He said, The thing about tennis life is that it's the same thing every day. You train, you come back to the hotel, you get treatment, you eat, you sleep, you get up. It is unglamorous and exhausting. A life spent half in airports and hotels, thousands of miles from home. Almost every trip is punctuated, often early, with the loss. Some players orient themselves by the familiarity of their routines. Not curious. He gets homesick, injured, and bored. He wants to be playing basketball. He'd rather be fishing. He misses his dogs, his girlfriend, his family, his friends. While nearly every other competitor lives and breathes the sport, dedicating every free second to it, Curious does not share this level of commitment. But once again, there is more to the story. While you may be thinking that Kyrgios simply doesn't care about the sport at all, try to explain why he confesses to getting very nervous before each match. Wouldn't this be a sign of caring? Also, explain the differences of his behavior on and off the court. While almost every person that has encountered him off the court describes him as a chill, kind dude, 
on the court, he comes off as an entitled jerk. In recent months, Kyrgios has shown signs of maturity and increased desire in improving his game. But will it ever truly click for him? Personally, Nick Kyrgios has sparked my interest in the sport of tennis. I remember first seeing Kyrgios during the 2014 Wimbledon run and being entranced. I found his antics incredibly entertaining and a refreshing display of personality. His willingness to attempt a between the leg shot in the middle of a competitive rally was incredibly stupid, cocky, and endearing. Before Nick, I was a very casual tennis fan that would only tune in to the occasional Grand Slam match. Since my introduction to Nick, I've made sure to watch each and every one of his personal Grand Slam matches, while also paying close attention to his overall career. My experience as a Curios fan has been slightly amusing, but more frustrating. One mistake snowballs into two, and before you know it, he's losing to a player with not a tenth of his natural athleticism and talent. Each match, you can see the astonishing potential. However, each match, you see even more displays of immaturity, lack of focus, and squandering of talent. What the future holds for Kyrgios is even more uncertain. Will he commit fully to tennis? Will he reach his potential? Or at least make an honest attempt to? It's unlikely, but not impossible. So, I ask you, comment whether you think Kyrgios will ever establish himself as a truly elite player. Will he win a Grand Slam? Will he get to a final? Comment below. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in learning more about Nick Kyrgios, feel free to consult the sources linked down below. Thanks.